Many games have come and gone during the course of Roblox's existence, but there have only been a few that will never die. Like for example, Work at a Pizza Place. It says this game was created in 2008, but it was actually created in 2007. But look how many people were playing it currently right now. 13,000 active people. After 10 plus years? That's such a major accomplishment. Man, this is such a classic Roblox game. I remember this game being so popular when I started playing Roblox in 2010. It's crazy that it's still popular to this day. How do I make a pizza? If I'm being honest, I never really got into this game. I was into the Oh Dear games. Um, man, this place reminds me when I used to work at Pizza Hut. I hated it. Oh, my pizza's burning, man. Okay, let me grab that out. Oh, my- the manager? Hello. I think we have a little bit of a problem here. The manager's put me back to work? Oh, shut up. I'm going on a worker strike. I hate working here. Give me a raise now. But yeah, this game is super, super popular even to this day. Oh, what's going on? I blame the manager. Is she throwing snowballs at me? Yeah, take that, manager. I hate you. Get out. This game is honestly held up after all these years. It's such a simple game, but it works so well. Like, I feel like the most simple games in Roblox just perform the best. It's not overly complicated. The UI is not in your face. It's not like, buy these coins, buy all these pets. Dude, our manager is literally throwing snowballs at us. That's not legal. She's trying to kill me. She's like plotting to murder me. You're the worst manager ever. Yeah, walk away. I feel like every Robloxian at one time or another has played this game. Like, you had to. New or old, you know what work at a pizza place is. Okay, I can become a manager as soon as she quits, so I have to convince her to quit. Let's gaslight a child. It doesn't say your manager on my screen anymore. You have to become a cashier for it to work. Come on. Espanol? I don't speak Spanish. All right, let me just Google translate what I just said. Let's see if this works. She's a sword. That's illegal. I should be compensated for you hitting your own employee. Okay, well, she's typing. She's typing. What, is she, what does that mean? Hey! <laughs> I'm assuming that's not a good thing. She said manager. Hate. Okay, I don't know if she can understand that. We'll just, I'll talk in emojis. All right, I'm mad at her. I chose the red emojis. <laughs> she's like, what? <gasps> Management position. I'm a manager. This is all I wanted in life. Look at me, guys. I have a suit on. You suck. How do I fire people? I want to abuse my authority. Fire! Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. When I fired someone, it removes them from the game? Oh, shoot. I did not know that. I just kicked someone. That felt kind of good, though. I'm gonna make you employee of the day. You're so epic. Look at you. Honestly, I don't even think she realizes what's happening. Anyways, let's go to the next game. Okay, so Natural Disaster Survival. I remember playing this when I was very, very young and new to Roblox. 2008. Updated one week ago, so there's still frequent updates, and it has over 4,000 people playing. Now, 4,000 people might not seem like a lot to a lot of players. For how old the game is, that's really, really impressive. I think the theme with a lot of these games that just never die is that they're just very, very simple concepts. I love my mommy, Seven. That's an interesting name you got there. She must be seven years old. Okay, I probably shouldn't be poking at her. Let's push some people off. Oh, she got flung. So fun fact, this game actually hit 1 billion visits in 2020. In 2020, everyone was locked inside and a lot of new people came to Roblox and Natural Disaster is one of the first games that a lot of people played when they came to Roblox. I mean, it was one of my first games. This is great. A carnival ride with my best pals that I just met right now. You know, if there's a natural disaster going on, you probably shouldn't be in a carnival ride. Tornado. Oh God, yeah. I survived. Wow. They all died. I have my seats still. Look, I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh, shoot. Okay. I feel like a lot of games of today just like have too many rules and it can just be overly complicated, especially for like someone who's under the age of 10. Top 10 survivalists, 1500 survivals. They're literally playing the game right now. We can join them. Dude, this person is dedicated to natural disaster survival. Did she just leave? All right. Well, she left right as I was about to talk to her. How many hours do you have to spend in this game to get 1500 survivals? I feel like that's at least four hours a day. So she's dedicated. And dedication is great because I'm dedicated to beating Roblox and subs. So please sub. Okay, so Murder Mystery 2. This game is actually based off of Gary's mod game mode called Murder and it still has 56,000 people playing right now. 9.1 billion visits. I remember a bunch of YouTubers making a lot of videos to this game, but it kind of died out, but the game is still thriving. Oh, what am I? Innocent. The murder is like right there. There. Oh, shoot. Hey, you should be nice to people like me. I'm in level 69, guys. Hey, I'm really bad at this game. I, I can't ever tell who's actually the murderer. Everyone's suspicious. Don't murder me, please. Oh, there we go. 
<gasps> I kind of want to buy a UGC item that hides me. Uh, a filing cabinet. I've seen other YouTubers do this. Pretend to be like props. So I got to do it. Where's my filing cabinet? No. This game will just never die because people love murder mystery games in general. And for that, I think it's just going to be an evergreen game. It's just constantly going to be here in the Roblox community. It'll never die. Ever. Dang, her avatar looks interesting. Um, anyways, next game. Okay, Brickhaven. This is very controversial. I know a lot of people do not like this game at all, but I don't think it's gonna die ever. Or at least for a very, very, very long time. Currently has 300,000 people playing right now and 24 billion visits. That's so many. There's my cabinet. Where were you when I was playing Murder Mystery 2? All right, I changed my avatar. What do you guys think? If you guys didn't know, Brookhaven has set multiple records for having the most concurrent players at a time. At one point, it had over 800,000 people playing at once, which is insane for a Roblox game. I think I'm in a Spanish server. I don't know what she's saying. Something about a problem. Hello. I immediately got banned. She doesn't like my look. That's so rude. Oh, look, there's a little poor girl outside waiting. Come here, poor girl. I'll be your mother. I can provide. I have money. Is there a money emote? I feel like there has to be. There it is. Look, I can give you money. You like that? Why are my arms crossed like that? Hey, you want money? One of the reasons why I think this game just won't die is because it's a role play game that frequently updates. They're always adding new stuff and just making the game more exciting for new players. People love role playing. Like, me. I'm gonna role play robbing into your house and murdering your family. Let me scoot away. I love this game because it just forces you to use your imagination. It really gets the creative juices flowing. She's just going through all the emotions. I feel it. What? She laughing at me? You're messed up. You're rude. Oh, she teleported. She used her powers, but I'm gonna stalk her. That's my magical power. I found her. Maybe she only talks in emojis, so let's do that. Is there a gun emoji? This is her, and maybe I'll put a skull next to it. Oh, did she leave? Ban him. Are you talking about me? A him? Do you see these hips? Just because I have a receding hairline doesn't mean I'm a man. Women can be bald too. Someone's like, Bay, how you know ban? Bay? Maybe we can like get into their house. I think they're having like a deep conversation. Oh, I can come in. Hey, nice house you got. Let me just find a room. She's gonna go to Meep City? Figures, she doesn't have a shirt on. Okay, see you later, Bay. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in the middle of this. No, I'm too slow with the emojis, man. I feel old. See, it's not Brookhaven roleplay unless you find OD. Look at this orphan kid. He's just crying so much. He doesn't even want to be near me. Man, society. All right, what can I do? I can kidnap him, I guess. Come here, kid. Get kidnapped. Stupid kid. I swear. Kids only want the attractive parents. And guess what? Not every parent's attractive. Sometimes they're a little ugly, and that's fine. Can I be in your family? Okay. You seem kind of hesitant, but hey, I'll take it. Get out of here, orphan child. We don't want you. Adopt me, please. Shut up. Curb stomps. Wait, is that? Should I say that? No, you adopted the orphan. <sighs> All right, well, I'm leaving the family. I don't want to be in it anymore. First thing on my list, kill that child. But yeah, I really don't see this game dying ever. But hey, I might be wrong. I guess we'll have to see.